Melanie Hamrick is a former ballerina, choreographer, mom, and partner to Mick Jagger, but now she can add another title to her list, author. And she is on point with her debut <laughs> novel. It is called First Position, and it is all about the seductive world, ready for this, of ballet. Mm. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for me. This is a steamy read. Uh, for yes, summer. it did. It's, it's like the perfect <laughs> summer read. Tell me about uh, what kind of made you want to write this type of a book. Well, I find the ballet world's really beautiful and it's sexy and you have these incredible costumes and beautiful stories and romance. And I found, I love reading romance mm -hmm. novels, so I found, why, why isn't there a romance book um, set at the ballet? Yeah. That's, I, it's something I would want to read. But this is naughtier than this that. Is. This is scandalous, right? We're used to sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yes. We're not tuned into sex, drugs, and ballet. ballet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I found that people think of ballerinas and ballet dancers as this cookie cutter yeah. image of you know, they're perfect and it's perfection. And if you were to be in the wings during a performance, it's mayhem. And wow. people are running up and down and it's loud and... You're, people, you're not supposed to drink a soda in your class, and they're drinking soda, they're sitting on the floor, and then you, like, brush that off, and you step on stage. And then you're perfect. And you're perfect. So I thought, like, I wanted to write something that was more authentic to who dancers are. They're young, they're having fun, they're in their right. 20s. It's that age well, where you're exploring. And that and was your first love for you, yes. was ballet. You fell in love with it when you were just a little kid, Hi. six years old, <laughs> there you are. And yes. it, you just never stopped. What was it about ballet that swept you away? Oh, that's the picture where I, that's the point where I was like, I'm going to be a ballerina. Yeah. Uh, something about the stage um, yeah. and the storytelling and using your body to do something so beautiful and create art. I, I was hooked and my older sister was a ballerina. Mm. So I got to see with, where all the hard work was going to go. Mm -hmm. She's five years older. So it's like, OK, this is boring right now. But mm -hmm. look what my older sister's doing in mm -hmm. a couple years. <laughs> but you made the decision to stop dancing professionally. Mm -hmm. You and Mick Jagger had a son together yes. and you wanted to be a more present mom. How mm -hmm. hard was it for you to take your life's work yeah. and say, I'm going to put it on hold, maybe for good? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing about um, writing the book made me feel very connected still. I never felt like I left the world because that is a fear that you know, it's my whole life's work. So in a way, writing a book about the like authentic, true world of the ballet kept me in it, and it didn't feel as hard. It was very cathartic. And leaving was definitely a difficult decision, but I, f I felt it was time. Mm -hmm. I, I had probably burnt myself out, like rushing back to the stage too quickly and trying to be superwoman and... I was like, you know what? I did a great job, and it's enough. I mean, you have so many accomplishments in your life, obviously a ballerina and an author and all the rest of the things. Yet some people will look at you and say, oh, she's the woman who's with Mick Jagger. She's the partner of Mick <laughs> Jagger. Does that, how does that sit with you, and how do you kind of find exactly who you are and all that? Uh, well, we're both very supportive of each other's uh, ventures and work. Yeah. So I think coming as my own self and... Mm -hmm knowing I'm a ballerina, I worked my life, it really gave me a sense of who I am, and I think it, you can get lost in that yeah. that world. So I do, and he's always like, you're a ballerina, you're an yes. author. He's very supportive of reminding me of those things. Like, you wrote a book, like, be proud. <laughs> so we definitely... We keep lifting each other up, and we just I, remind, I just, I remind myself, like, you know, I'm not just someone's partner. But is music yeah. and dance in your household, yeah. right? He's a rock star. You're a ballerina. <laughs> like, what, the dance <laughs> parties dance at your party. house yeah. are much cooler than at mine. Yeah. I hope so. I mean, we started having dance parties, I think, um, for our son during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, he was really young, and you can get bored, so every night it's 6 p.m. <laughs> dance party. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> That's a dance party. <laughs> Boy. We put oh. the music on. Okay. That's we do, talent right we there. Do little shows. <laughs> it's also freedom right there. Yeah, it's freedom. Well, Melanie, thank you so much. Congratulations on this uh, novel. I hope people pick it up. Again, you can check out Melanie's book. It's called First Position. Find it at today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books. Thank, thank you, Melanie. Thank you so much. We appreciate Congratulations. it. That was lovely.